Uh, thank you very much, and good morning to ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm also thankful to you for providing us this opportunity to meet with old friends coming from different countries. And uh, after 20 years, I noticed that old friends, they've also got gray hair. <laughs> the, the topic of my today's talk is the innovative techniques developed by DG Khan Cement for alternative fuels and waste heat recovery. Um, as you said, that uh, I've divided my talk into three parts. First part relates to the Pakistan cement industry and DG Khan cement uh, production lines. And then in the second part, I'd like to present use of alternative fuels, and that is our practical experience and the techniques that we have adopted to use maximum alternative fuel. And yesterday in the morning session, you talked about uh, problems that one may encounter in the use of alternative fuels or waste heat recovery. And today I'm going to talk on all those problems that we have been facing and how we are uh, solving those problems. Then we'll talk about the waste heat recovery unit. And in the waste heat recovery unit, I'm going to present before you a comparative study on the conventional Rankine cycle that uh, we have installed at one of our plants and Kalina cycle, which is uh, first of its kind in the world and first time it's being installed on a cement plant. Uh, first, let's talk about uh, the cement industry and cement plants in Pakistan. As you can see that uh, these red dots are those cement plants which are installed in the north, and these red dots are those which are installed in the south. Uh, in total, Pakistan has got about 26 cement plants, and uh, you can see from here, we border our share with China, with Afghanistan, Iran, and India. From the factories which are located in the north, we are exporting cement to Afghanistan and some to the Russian states. And from the plant which are located in the center of the country or somewhere here, we export also to India. Our cement is also going to African countries. And by virtue of having a very good and consistent quality of cement, uh, we have got a fair market share in the African market. If we look at uh, the production capacities of our cement plants, then today, the installed is 44.76 million tons per year. And the capacity utilization, you can see, is about 76.79% ending year uh, 2014. If we look at the domestic portion, it's 26.14 million tons, and export is 8.14 million tons. But the recent results of sales indicate that our sale volume has increased by about 6.18% during past seven months, starting from July up to January. And our domestic sales have gone up to 10%. So that is a very good indicator to see that in coming five months, then we hope that our domestic sale will also pick further. The market share of uh, DG Khan cement is uh, close to 11.3%. And these are the uh, cement factories and big players of cement. I'm sure that cohort people are also sitting here. The market share is 6.1%. Uh, DG Khan Cement Company, we've got uh, two cement plants with three kilns in operation. Two kilns are installed at a place called DG Khan, and DG Khan is the name of city, which is in the center of the country. There we have got uh, two plants, 4,000 tons FLS plant, which was commissioned back in 1997, and 2,700 tons plant supplied by Ube Japan, which was commissioned back in, in 1986. Now with this plant, uh, which is uh, Ube plant and FLS plant, we have installed conventional Rankine cycle for the waste heat recovery, <coughs> uh, capable to produce 